I'm Aaron from the Pickleball Clinic. I'm here with Murray Pitt. Uh, Murray is a 91-year-old pickleball player from the Bronx, New York. He's been married to his wife for 68 years. He's a father to four kids, as well as a grandfather, and he's here today to talk with us about his pickleball journey. So, Murray, how's life? Okay, pretty good. <laughs> Could you talk a little bit about how uh, and when you got into pickleball? Uh, sure. Um, I'm going to guess it's about... Um, Three years ago, um, we have a uh, apartment up at the, in the Adirondacks, it's a condo, it's a small condo association. And um, there are not many tennis players up there. I still like to play doubles tennis. And when the courts were, we, we have two tennis courts up there and they were um, resurfaced and when we resurfaced them, we superimposed uh, pickleball courts on the tennis courts. And uh, as you might expect, um, while we do have some tennis players, I play most of the time when my grandkids come up or my kids, but during the week, we couldn't find many tennis players. And many of the residents started to play pickleball, many of my neighbors. So uh, one of the neighbors had a friend who then brought him in and they introduced us to all the rules and uh, gave us some demonstrations and we started to play up there. So most of my play is uh, uh, frequently up, up during the summer months. Were you originally very open to the idea of playing pickleball or, or like many others, were you a little bit reluctant and needed someone to kind of push you into it? No, I didn't need pushing. I just, uh, I, I like, uh, I like, I, I generally, I grew up um, attuned to sports. I played a lot of sports as a kid, um, a lot of basketball. And in my older years, I played a lot of golf. And then about five years ago, I developed a, a yip in golf and I lost interest in golf. And so I looked for other activity. I need the physical activity and I got involved with tennis. And since the tennis was, um, um, I couldn't find many players up there. I wasn't gonna go run 20 miles to go play tennis or 15 miles. And uh, when the local group started to play pickleball, I said, sure, let's give it a go. And I got involved. So how many years have you been playing pickleball now? Has it been five years? No, I'd say about, um, Two or three, three years. Two or three. Three years, yes. And you played, you know, you said golf for years, uh, basketball, like myself growing up, you played tennis. Do you see things from all of those sports transferring into your pickleball game? Uh, or do you think there's certain sports that have much greater influence than others? How do you kind of see pickleball, uh, you know, developing for yourself as a result of the other sports you played? Well, I don't know. Pickleball is kind of like a big ping pong game, but uh, um, I've been very fortunate in my senior years in that I've got pretty good reflexes. And in um, uh, tennis, I played, uh, now I play doubles. I don't play any singles in tennis and I got a reasonably good short uh, net game. And when I tried pickleball, I, it was like natural. I, I got good reflexes and I could handle the game pretty well. And I could handle the youngsters. I could handle young people. I mean, I'm not gonna, probably can't compete with you, but uh, I could play with the average person. So um, my years didn't inhibit me in the game at all. You said golf, you kind of, you know, developed a lack of interest after a certain number of years. Do you feel like pickleball is something you'd ever get tired of? Uh, no, I think as long as you're physically able, you could play it. No, I, I think it's, I think one of the advantages of the game is uh, I could play with a 20 year old. I mean, uh, depending on his, his ability, but I could probably hold my own with the average, uh, the average athlete, uh, almost any age. I play with my, I introduced my, my children and my grandkids to the game after I got exposed to it. I think you're totally right. And of the long list of sports that currently exist, 
I would say almost none of them um, provide an opportunity for, for someone in their 90s to be able to compete uh, and compete successfully with someone in their 20s or their 30s, I think pickleball is an exception. You're absolutely right. You mm. can get on the court with someone in their 20s and, and, and you know, beat them pretty bad. Um, I think it's such an incredible thing. Can you speak a little bit more on, I guess, how special and, and, and specific to pickleball that type of connection and possibility really is? Well, no, that's correct. Uh, well, I could, you know, in golf, you get handicapped. So, uh, you know, I could play... Um, over the years, I played golf for close to 40 years and a handicap leveled the playing field. Of course, in some respects, a higher handicap has the advantage of the lower handicap. But in pickleball, as long as you have the reflexes and you could move, uh, there's not a lot of running. I mean, there is good movement. You got to be able to move. But I think that it, it levels the, it's a game where the, the playing field is leveled. It's a small court. Uh, you, you're not, um, you know, you, you don't need a great deal of mobility, but you still have to move. It, I find it's a game mostly of bending and and having quick reflexes, which which you're with that paddle. Yeah. Absolutely. So in that respect, I mean, many of the, I'm the obviously where I've been playing. I'm usually the oldest guy, and uh, I hold my own. So it's 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 a game. Uh, that uh, I think uh, as long as a person, uh, not everyone who ages can continue to have their reflexes and move around. But if you can, I think it's a game that's well worth playing. Do you enjoy playing with people that maybe start to count you out in the beginning due to your age and then being able to turn that upside down and actually be the one to come out? No, on not, after, not after the first few points. <laughs> that disappears quickly. Uh, most of the people I play with are are pretty good, and the, the guys the guys play a little bit better than the women. There are a couple, there are a few good women, but uh, most of the guys are a little quicker. They may be more athletic than the women, but um, um, I, I just find that I'm I'm on a level with them. It's not uh, I win and I lose. I mean, I, I just enjoy the the activity. What's your favorite shot? What's your strength on the pickleball court? Um, I guess the volley. I'm, I, I could volley pretty good. My reflexes are pretty good. I, you, you could come at me and I'll get volleys that most people won't get, uh -huh. which is which is true in tennis. I'm, I'm a pretty good net player. So I have kind of an interesting question. You know, I've spent a lot of time now in the pickleball world and I've, I feel like pickleball compared to other sports. There are a lot of comparisons that exist between pickleball and other things that exist in life. I was a competitive chess player for some time and I compare pickleball to chess. I, I, you could compare you know, pickleball to even running a business with the amount of decisions you have to make. There's a risk reward in every decision. Pickleball doesn't necessarily depend on how quick you are or how strong you are, but how good you know, decisions you can make. Throughout your experience, you know, I, I don't know what your profession was or what you did throughout life, but do you, do you see a comparison between the way pickleball is played strategically and any other factors that, uh, you know, throughout your life, um, things you can compare it to outside the sports world? Oh, I don't know. I'd have to think about that. Um, uh, pickleball, I mean, I've been playing uh, mostly, I don't play singles. I play doubles in pickleball. And you've got to have a little bit of a, of a coordination with your partner. So uh, certainly coordinating with other people is important, even in the, I grew up in the business world. So I was in financial management and then general management. So uh, pickleball is more confining. You're working with one person. You're not working with a team of people. You're just working with a partner. And so understanding your partner's ability or capability or weakness, um, I, I, in tennis, as in uh, I'm stronger from the, from the uh, what they say the ad side because um, I got a decent backhand and a good forehand, but you still got to have coordination with that partner. Right. So as far as relationship or uh, how you would um, compare it to the business world, um, it's not the same as the business world, and that the business world you're dealing with more than one. Here you deal here in pickleball, it's one 
one person, your partner, similar to tennis is doubles. You, you've got to learn how to coordinate with that partner of yours. I'm, I could play, for example, I think the analogy would be if I play tennis, I'll play the net if I have a youngster like you who could cover my back. So if they come over me, I'm covered. But if I have someone who's more uh, physically impaired, I won't play the net because they'll come over me and they'll kill me. So you've got to know your abilities and your weaknesses and the similar to that of your partner. And in business, you've got to know the same of, of many people rather than just one. Right. So I think it's more limiting in pickleball. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Um, so you're, you're still playing pickleball frequently. Um, what advantages do you see pickleball giving to people in their, in their later years in life, um, compared to other sports? I know golf is a sport that many people over 60 or 70 play a lot. What, what do you think is so special about pickleball in terms of providing opportunity and, and joy for people that are, you know, in their over 60, over 70 years? Well, I think, I think um, activity, I think the key is activity, being able to uh, be involved, you know, with, with a physical activity, which is uh, not available to people as they get older. Golf is really, I wouldn't, you know, it's physical, but it's not physical. Um, we're not, we're not playing basketball running up and down the court. We're not, we're not playing football and, you know, you could hop around on a softball court, but in, in pickleball, when we play up there, I mean, we play for two, two and a half hours. I sit down between uh, every two games and uh, it's, it has some physical exertion, which is now available to seniors more so than most other sports. Right, right. There's no question about that. I mean, primarily because there's less, uh, I mean, there's more bending. There's just there's not that much running it's, it's it's very it's a confined area right right absolutely you're right um yeah i appreciate you i appreciate you sharing part of your, your story with us and your thoughts on the game it's really interesting you know to hear uh <laughs> okay. perspective um on, on kind of how you see the game those are uh, those are pretty much the questions I have. Um, I, is there anything else you are interested in sharing, or that you'd like to share about your experience in life, or your experience with pickleball, uh, or anything else you, you think might be interesting to share? No, I, I think what you're doing is fine. I think um, um, you're you're involved with pickleball. I would encourage more seniors to play it. It's it's a game that um, is. Uh, I think as long as people have balance, I mean, a lot of seniors don't lose their, their balancing. My wife has a, a balancing impairment because she has myasthenia, so she can't play pickleball. But uh, unless you have some impairment, I think uh, it's, it's something you could um, almost advertise that a senior could play with a youngster. I mean, the, the youngster doesn't really have a big advantage over a senior, I mean, Look, youngsters are going to have more capability, and a lot has to be uh, dependent on their balance and their uh, reflex capability and ability to bend. Because you, you're not taking more than two steps usually. I, you know, maybe you're lunging somewhat, but you're not leaping very much unless someone tries to lob over you. But that doesn't happen very often in pickleball, and um, unless you're hitting into the wind. But that's <laughs> Um, but I think encouraging uh, people as they get older to play, I think it's, it's that's why I think it's it's advancing and becoming so popular. I think a lot of seniors, uh, mature people are starting to play it. Absolutely. And, and youngsters as well. I, I'm playing pickleball pretty much every day. Um, I think it's, it's one of the few sports players of, of literally all ages and all walks of life can connect with. Yeah. And, um, you know, that, that's why it's, it's really such a great opportunity for me to get to speak to different people like yourself. I really appreciate you uh, taking the time to, to speak with me. And I really hope that, you know, our, our listeners and our viewers are able to take a lot from this. I definitely have. Um, so I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. No, it's my pleasure. Keep up the good work. No, it's my pleasure. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Play well. And by the way, I, I didn't mean to 
I don't mean to demean it. I mean, there is a, there is a physical aspect to it. You, you, need, you do need some stamina. If you're going to go out there and play for, for several hours, it's not something that uh, doesn't require a little bit of, uh, of stamina. I, I think a senior should, you know, in, in tennis, you play uh, two, two, uh, two, two games and then you sit. Uh, pickleball, we play, we've been playing, depending on how many people are waiting, seven, nine, 11 points. So we can accelerate uh, more people playing, but um, you, sh you should rest between maybe a couple of games and then move on. But it does require a little bit of stamina and, it, and it's healthy in that respect. That's why I think it's it's becoming very popular.